All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to swap out social bars or add or change them. Um, what you want to do is come into your editor and go to whatever page um, that those are on. In this case, they're in the header, so they're on all pages. And then when you click on it, you'll see that you get an extra little menu that pops up. You want to click on Set Social Links, and then you'll see there's the Facebook and the Twitter. You wanted to get rid of Twitter, I believe, and add Instagram. So there's two ways you can do this. You can um, delete this by removing it here. Um, and then, well, actually, that's how you would get rid of one. And then to add one, you come here to add icons. And then let's find Instagram, for example. Um, you, and then you can find the icon that you think matches best for the site. In this case, I'm using these white ones, which are kind of hard to see. But if you roll over them, you can kind of see it. And it's a white circle there. So let's add that to gallery. It shows up better in this preview. Um, and then you have your your title here and your link here. So you want to paste the link to your specific um, Instagram page here. And then you can leave it new window because it is going to a new site. So you might as well open it up into a new window. You can also change this to say Stanley Marble Instagram just to tell Google that this is going to your Stanley Marble, Marble Instagram account. Um, so and then add the link here. I don't have that at the moment, but I wanted to quickly show you how you can do that. And then you can also reorganize these by dragging them around. You could add a different ones like LinkedIn. Um, and so just search for them and then you can add them in here. So I'll drop that one in. Okay, that's not the right one. So I can also replace it and come up here. LinkedIn and find that one that's in a circle. Let's see if they have one. They might not have. Oh, it might be this one right here. Yeah, it's hard to see them. So I'll choose that one. And then same thing. You, you change the title to say Stanley Marvel LinkedIn and then add the link here. I'm going to hit done and then you'll see how it's added these additional ones. Then just use your arrow bars. I use shift arrow to kind of move it over in sections. You can also drag it um, this way to make it so that it's in a good spot here. Once you're done editing it here, also check to make sure it looks good in mobile. Um, I think in mobile I don't even have it showing up at the top because it just seemed to clutter it up and um, I had it at the bottom. So let's add it back actually to the bottom because um, I think that is a necessary thing to have. Um, I don't want to put it in the header of your of your mobile site, although we could. Let's Let's look at this. We'll add the social bar back. And so here it is. It's showing up on the blue or on the white background, so you can't really see it. But I can make this a little larger. And sometimes it's a little tricky to grab the objects you want to grab. You can also change the size of these in mobile, which I think is kind of nice. Make sure they have a little bit of spacing and don't make them too small because then it's hard to click with your finger. Um, but here we go. So they could they could reside here or maybe they reside below this. I think that might be a little bit better. I'm going to leave this, but if you guys want to take this out, let me know and I, I'm happy to remove it or you guys can remove it too. You're welcome to take it out. It's just it can be a little tricky to move some of these header items. Um, in the mobile editor because you're you're trying to select different things and it can be a little tricky sometimes so um, but there we have it so let's go back to the desktop and I will actually correct these before I send this to you but I just wanted to show you how you do this um, if you wanted to add this to the footer you could actually just copy and paste this and then drag it down and put it into the footer but since we're going to have it in the header on the mobile, I think we don't necessarily need it in the footer too, so maybe we'll just leave it here. Uh, let me know if you don't like this here though and you want to add it to the footer, we can always uh, put it back into the footer and then add it into the mobile footer and hide it from the mobile header. <laughs> um, and remember in mobile, there's these little tools over here, so if there's something that's missing that you want to add, oh and actually we do want to have the phone number, I think that's always a good thing to have at the top of the page. Um, and that actually, I think, makes these look better because we can move these over. And I think this just looks a little bit more intentional this way. I can make this a little bit bigger too. Make this box a little bit smaller so they're not overlapping. There we go. 
So I'm going to go ahead and publish this and I'm going to get rid of this space. The, that space was created when I unhid the phone number. And I'll drag this back up. I think this looks pretty good. All right, there we go. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions, but I think this is a good uh, quick little tutorial to show you how to swap these out as you need. And make sure to hit publish when you're done as well, because that's always important to save it and get it live to the current site.